Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Nashville, it's time for Nashville Business Radio. Now, here's your host. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Nashville Business Radio. I'm John Ray, and I've been looking forward to this one, folks. Dean Wagner is with us. Dean is the founder and CEO of Authentically American. Dean, welcome. Well, John, I am honored to be a guest. Thank you very much. Honored to have you. And let's jump right into it. Talk about Authentically American, your company, how you're serving folks out there. Well, let me do this, John, since you gave me the opportunity to make an introduction of myself. I always like to touch on a little bit personally. So when people say, Dean, what's most important to you? Mm -hmm. I always talk about God, family, and country. And all of that also starts to build into Authentically American. So first, from a God standpoint, my Christian faith is first and foremost in my life. And family, equally important. My wife and I, this August, John, will be celebrating 27 years. And we've got four amazing kids. We've got two daughters, 23 and 20. We have a 17-year-old son, and we have an 11-year-old son who we adopted from Ethiopia. So again, family is incredibly important. And then from a country standpoint, you know, had the honor to graduate from West Point, served our country for seven years, and love our country. Very patriotic. I'm a veteran. And all those, John, start to tie into Authentically American. And as a very high level, authentically American, we are a veteran owned, American made premium apparel brand. And our vision, John, is to build this iconic American brand that's truly American made. Awesome. Wow. What a story. Before we get into the company, though, let's just talk, get it, dig a little bit more into your journey. Talk about uh, maybe how West Point. And the military prepared you to lead a startup to to be successful in business. It has been instrumental, John, and I will highlight our ethos as a brand. So we're a brand that celebrates patriotism. We're a brand that believes in the American worker. And we're also a brand that honors our American heroes very intentionally. You know, we donate 10% of our profits to veteran and first responder charities. And that's a way for us each and every day to honor our American heroes. And going all the way back to West Point, I graduated in 1993. And I think of West Point with the fondest of memories. And most people will hear words like duty, honor, country. And those were words that really resonated, that really mean something when you went there. And if you look at our website, authenticallyamerican.us, you will see our values listed there. And The same way duty on our country resonated, that's the way we want our values to resonate. And we're a very value-centric company, so I'm very thankful for that education and that value-centric learning that I had very early in my career, very early in my education, because that formulated very much of who we are. And I had the privilege, John, after graduating from West Point to attend flight school, learn how to fly helicopters, then went to the Army Special Forces Ranger School and served our country for seven years. And I can't tell you, John, the incredible memories I have of the men and women I served with who selflessly raised their right hand to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. And it's those memories that really was the motivation to donate 10% of our profits to veteran and first responder charities. Well, Dean, thanks not only for your service, but 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 being a voice for those that aren't with us, right, That that and, and being able to represent for them. Well, John, it truly was a privilege in my mind to serve this great nation of ours, and I'm always thankful when somebody recognizes that. So, thank you. Thank you. Um, well, now you, when you came out of the military, you had a a corporate career, business uh, career with with some major companies, Mars, Procter and Gamble. Talk about that that experience and what you learned from from that, uh, and and then what led you to start your own company. So, John, I'm incredibly thankful for the experiences. So I did spend two years at a big five consulting firm, KPMG, Mm. and love my clients, love that experience. But, John, I love my family more and I never saw them. So I was on the road Monday through Friday every week, 
And that was just not going to work long term. So I transitioned after two years there to Procter and Gamble. Mm. Worked on iconic brands like Crest and Tide. And then also spent another five years at Mars. Business development, sales, marketing, working on brands like M&Ms and Snickers. And both P&G and Mars are just world-class marketing and branding companies. And it's those lessons learned, that training that really is the playbook that we put in place right now to help build this iconic American brand and authentically American. So I guess the question is why authentically American? That may seem like an obvious question um, to some, but uh, you could have done a lot of things coming out of uh, corporate in terms of starting your own business. Why authentically American? Well, I'll tell you, John, it's not an obvious question because a lot of people looked at me and said, Dean, what is wrong with you? Are you crazy? What are you doing? Because I was very fortunate, had some big jobs at P&G and Mars and was very well compensated. And not that it was comfortable, but it was a great opportunity. But to give your listeners some perspective, I mean, P&G is an $80 billion company, mm. $80 billion. Mars is a little bit smaller, but still a $40 billion company. And what I felt like, John, if you pull me out, the machine at P&G, the machine at Mars just keeps on going. Mm. And I'm impassioned about making a difference. And I really didn't feel like at the end of the day, I was making a difference. Mm. And that is one of the motivations that ultimately led me down the path to make a difference. Because I had mentioned that authentically American, we're an apparel brand. And to give you some context, John, when I graduated from West Point in 93, over 50% of the apparel in the U.S. was made in the U.S. And today, John, today it's less than three. Wow. I mean, that is all that's made here. And I'm incredibly passionate about job creation. And that's really at the heart of our mission is our passion for job creation tied to our ethos, why we believe in the American worker, because we very intentionally produce everything here in the U.S. in 12 different states. Oh, wow. That's terrific. And so talk a little bit about... Let's let's go to a higher level for a second. Then I want to talk about a little bit about how you do what you do at Authentically American. But um, let's talk about the challenges that you uh, that that are confronted when you want to conscientiously build an Amer- a company where apparel is sourced here in the United States and manufactured here in the United States. And John, I will tell you, it is not easy at all doing what we do back to the statistics, 50 down to less than 3% now. Yeah. But prior to launching Authentically American in 2017 and 2012, you know, I bought my first business. And this was a company that had a great 18 year history producing dress uniforms for the military. And I thought it was pretty neat because the old dress pants, the old dress trousers that I wore in the Army was one of our contracts. So we had produced dress pants for Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and it was thousands of uniforms every week. And I love that because that was a way for me to connect indirectly back with the military. And the other standpoint is for five years there, I was in the apparel industry. But part of what switched from my old company to Authentically American and wanting to build a brand because... Back to job creation being very important to me, something I'm passionate about. My initial thinking, John, was, well, I want to win more contracts. And I thought if we win more contracts, then we'll create more jobs. But at one point there, I had an epiphany and I realized that, you know, we don't actually create jobs. You know, government contracts are a competitive bid. So if you and I are bidding, John, and I outbid you, those jobs from you transfer to me. And this is when the wheel started turning for me and the light bulb went off. And I thought, what if? Instead of being a contractor, government contractor, what if we decided to build a brand? And I started thinking back to the days working on Crest and Tide and M&Ms. And then I thought, what if instead of what 97% of companies do and chase cheap labor all around the globe, what if we made the intentional choice to produce right here in the U.S.? I thought, think of the difference we could make. Think of the jobs we could create. Ultimately, if we're successful on delivering our vision to build this iconic American brand, you know, think of the incredible legacy we could leave. And in 2017, my partner and I parted ways. He wanted to focus on those government contracts and I wanted to build this iconic American brand. And 
this was another instance where people said, what are you thinking? <laughs> you know how hard it is to do what you're doing? There's a reason, Dean, why only 3% is made here in the U.S. And I will tell you, John, it's not been easy, but it has been the most rewarding four years of my career to be able to do what we're doing. Wow. And you're, so you've been in business for four years. Did you, did I hear you right? You're already in, you've got facilities in 13 different states. So 12 states, 12 right states. So we okay. Contract government, not a government. We have a contract manufacturing network across mm-hmm. 12 states. So got it. John, everyone loves our t-shirts and I wish we were here in person together. Cause if you felt our t-shirts, you would be like, Dean, they're incredibly soft mm-hmm. and we only use a soft hand water-based ink because we want the print to be incredibly soft as well. And we make our t-shirts in Texas. You know, our socks are the same way. They're incredibly soft. They're comfortable. They are Carolina cotton in Carolina. The last time I was on Fox news, they were the number one seller when I was on Fox and friends. So you go across all 12 States and it just reinforces our ethos around the American worker because John, we're intentionally about producing in the U S but first and foremost, we lead with amazing product because, John, if you buy from us the first time, you're like, this product stinks. It's <laughs> awful. It doesn't matter where it's made. That's why it's almost a secondary benefit that it's American made. So, John, whether you buy one of our T-shirts, a pair of socks, one of our polos, anything from Authentically American, your first reaction will be, wow, it is absolutely amazing product. Dean Wagner's with us, folks. He's the founder and CEO of authentic, authentically American. Uh, what I hear you saying, Dean is yeah. Authentically American is important. Authentic quality is just as important. Those things go hand in hand. I will tell you, John, it is even more important. It is what we lead with quality and just an amazing product experience. And you know what, John, I, I know we're via radio, but (laughs) Maybe if you help me narrate this, I'll do one show and tell and okay. we'll do a little narrative style. But, you know, T-shirts are the most ubiquitous apparel item. And this is our new innovation. So go I'm on. holding this up, John. Can you see it OK? Yeah, go Army. Yep, go Army. So this is a T-shirt and it's one that's partial for me being a West Point grad. So it's an Army West Point T-shirt. And again, John, if you could feel this, mm-hmm. you say it's incredibly soft in the print. You can't feel it because we use that water-based soft hand ink. And think of a lot of the t-shirts in your closet, John. Mm -hmm. You know, that heavy plastisol ink. And on a hot summer Nashville day, it will stick to your chest. Mm -hmm. You wash it a few times, it will crack. Right. And our t-shirts are designed to be incredibly soft across the board. And John, this is our new sweat activated print innovation. So when you sweat, magically, this hidden message appears. So at West Point, it's all about go army. Beat Navy. Ah. And John, here's what happens when I spray this shirt. Uh-oh. Here, so, we, here we go, folks. You see what appears Oh, there? yeah. Beat Navy. Not just once, Beat but Navy. many times. <laughs> yep. And then on the back, there's our vintage U.S. flag logo, that external visual. And, you know, I'm spraying again to simulate exercise. You can see even bigger Beat Navy appears. Absolutely. Oh, that's John, awesome. I'd love to highlight this because people will tell me, Dean, I don't care where it's made. It is just amazing product. The shirt in itself, the fabric is incredibly soft. Mm -hmm. I can't even feel the print. And wow, that technology, I've never seen it before. Mm. And then here's what happens, John. They look at the tag and they see, made in USA, there's nothing in my closet that is American made. And then they will go to our website, authenticallyamerican.us. They will learn the story, the ethos, the vision, the mission behind our brand. And that's when we have an opportunity, John, to really become somebody's favorite brand. But again, we lead with product because we want you and every listener that ever buys something from us to have an incredible, amazing product experience. Wow. That's, that's terrific. Uh, You know, Dean, it, it occurs to me that what you're really asking, uh, folks to do out there is to do a little work. I mean, and, and it's not onerous. I mean, look beyond the price, look beyond even the quality, look at the label, right? Oh yeah. And John, I'll, I'll hold something up more of a visual for you, but our tagline, yep. you can see our business card is where's yours made. I love it. And I like to say, John, great looking shirt, great looking polo. Where's yours made? Mm, 
Wow. And most people will say, well, Dean, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. And I've literally had people almost take their shirt off. They're so curious because that tagline is designed to be provocative. And they will see made in China or made in Bangladesh or made in Vietnam. And that has been the one silver lining for us with the global pandemic. You know, everybody loves that we're American made. Mm -hmm. And now more than ever, Americans are actively seeking American made products. And when we can offer that, not just on a few items, but on everything we do, I mean, that is an opportunity for us to really make a bold statement. And John, just for perspective, so there's three segments of our business. So the one that I did the demo on, that's our collegiate. Yep. You know, the polo that I'm wearing right now, it has our vintage U.S. flag, that equivalent Nike swoosh. So that's our consumer brand. But where we started, John, was on the client side of our business. So I know a lot of your listeners are business owners or business executives. And that's where we started, because if you're going to do what we're doing for, and build a brand from scratch, it's incredibly difficult because you don't have an audience. Mm. I mean, nobody knows who you are. If we were to do a poll of your audience who's listening, I bet less than 1% would even ever have heard of Authentically American. Mm. But the vision behind leading with client is I wanted to go to you, John, as a business owner. You are already buying a T-shirt. You are already buying polos. You're buying branded apparel and merchandise with your company logo. And up until we came onto the scene, there really was not an American-made option. And that's what we're providing, John. You as a business owner, a choice. A high-quality American-made option that's competitively priced. So what you're telling me, I assume here, I don't want to clarify, is um, I, I let's say I, I've got a polo shirt. I want to get my logo on it. You can do that for me. Absolutely, John. We we do. We've got thousands of customers who are businesses, and they are Fortune 500, middle market, small businesses. John, you know some of your listeners may be sole proprietors, you know, entrepreneurs, and we very intentionally made our minimums low. So if you're an entrepreneur, you're a sole proprietor. We have some sole proprietors who are clients of ours because our minimums are very low. You don't have to order a hundred. You can order as few as 12. And that 12 can be a mix of polos, different colors. It can be quarter zips, jackets. So we have sole proprietors that wear authentically American, ultimately wear their company logo every day. And we make it easy for them to do so. Well, and not only that, it's one thing for you to wear it. It's another thing for you to make that as a gift to a client or someone close to you. And for that to be an authentically American made product. Absolutely. Love the way you're thinking, John. And I, this is probably the most popular business gift item. So I'm holding up a pair of our socks. Ah, and these are our own consumer brand socks, and they are Carolina cotton, knit in Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I did need to get you a pair, John, because if <laughs> you wore those, you would be like, man, they are incredibly soft. They're comfortable. And this is a fun, patriotic design. But what we have a lot of business owners do, yep. you know, they will buy 60 pairs of socks because our minimum is low on socks. And these are gifts. And, John, neither you or I are wearing a tie today because nobody wears a tie anymore. Socks are the new ties. It's just a fun way to express your fashion sense. And we've done hundreds and hundreds of custom socks for our clients. That's awesome. Stars and stripes socks, folks. You can't see them, <laughs> but, uh, you, you can, uh, you can certainly get an up close view. If you go to uh, Dan's, uh, website or give them a call and order authentically American.us is the site. Um, let's, let's talk about your, your product line and, and maybe what your top selling product is. So our number one selling item, John, is T-shirts. Okay. And there are over 3 billion T-shirts sold every year. And again, you saw the amazing innovation we have. So we yep. sell a, a boatload full <laughs> of shirts that are sweat activated, but we have amazing shirts that are almost performance. We've got other shirts. So T-shirt is hands down our number one seller. You know, Another top seller would be our socks that I mentioned. So yeah. these are our consumer brand, the Stars and Stripes, but the custom socks that we do for businesses and charities. And then I'm wearing our other top three seller polos. Okay. Because you think if you're a business, you're going to a trade show or if you're having a national sales meeting. So they oftentimes want to dress up a little bit. So polo is the most common uniform at those trade shows. Now let's, let's, you mentioned COVID earlier, Dean, 
talk about the impact COVID had on your business and how you came through that. Well, John, first of all, I wasn't sure if we were going to get through this because, you know, with a contract manufacturing network spread across 12 states and being a consumer brand that relies on product, when there was discussions about completely shutting things down, there was that uh oh factor, that pucker factor, like we may not survive. Mm. I mean, if we don't have any product, we don't have any business. And I will tell you, John, last year, what we dealt with with COVID further reinforced my belief in the American worker and that ethos for our brand, because all of our factories were operating at some level of reduced capacity, whether it was 10 or all the way down to 50 percent. And throughout the challenging time frame we lived with last year and continuing this year, the American worker stepped up in a big, big way because they continue to produce amazing American made product that our customers love. And one pivot, John, that we made during COVID, you know, we're very intentional about giving back, which is why we donate 10 percent of our profits to veteran and first responder charities. But what we really highlighted last year was how we partner with charities. So charities, much like businesses, buy T-shirts, buy ball caps, buy hats with their organization's logo. And what we've always done is when we partner with a charity or nonprofit, we provide our goods and services at cost. So, John, if you're running a charity, this allows you an opportunity to build your brand as a charity and raise some funds in the process. And what we decided to do last year we proactively reached out to charities, especially veteran charities, because you think last year when we had the highest unemployment level since the Great Depression, there were a lot of people that weren't writing those donation checks. So a lot of charities were really struggling. Mm -hmm. We thought here was, again, another opportunity for us to step up and make a difference. And we partnered with a long, long, long list of charities last year and helped them survive. And the secondary benefit for us, John, that was a lot of people's first exposure to authentically American. And they were like, I have my new favorite brand because they just helped my favorite charity survive. And they have amazing products. So not an easy year last year, John, but number one, we survived and we grew nearly 50% in spite of the global pandemic. And we wow. will plans to double our business this year. And I believe that will continue for at least the next five years. Wow. Congratulations. Dean Wagner with authentically American. He's the founder and CEO there, folks. Uh, so Dean, do you say, is it all internet based, all your sales internet based, or do you have retailers that uh, feature your products? So we have call it 99% is all online retail. So mm -hmm. one of two ways. So on our website, authentically American.us, or part of the service we provide charities and other businesses. If you need an online store, you know, we've got a full end to end service team, John. So we have a graphic design. We build online stores. We even do fulfillment. So that is all online e-commerce, but we do have one bricks and mortar test going right now. And that's with AFES. And most people probably aren't familiar, but AFES is the army and air force exchange. So think of that as the, department store equivalent on military bases across the U S and around the world. Got it. Got it. So you, uh, I noticed that you're uh, ecumenical congratulations and, and that you you, you actually have Navy gear on your site, uh, even though you're an army man. So <laughs> Good. Well, John, you're touching on a sensitive subjects here. So tread lightly. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, no, seriously, you've got a wide range of, uh, collegiate, uh, apparel as well for, uh, those, uh, for your favorite folks that have their favorite college teams. We do John and the shirt that I showed you that's go army beat Navy. We do have the equivalent go Navy and I can't say the rest of that <laughs> equation, but we don't discriminate. And you know, John, you know, good, I mean, just an incredible rivalry, Army versus Navy. And a lot of my friends and classmates have just given me an incredible hard time. But one of them had a really funny line. He said, Dean, I forgive you because the Navy doesn't work out hard enough to sweat anyway. So they'll never see that <laughs> message. But to your point, John, we have a fast-growing list of colleges. So we started with the service academies 
West Point, Naval Academy, Air Force Academy. We've at, now added local schools here in Nashville. So Belmont, MTSU, and now one that's year partial to with Vanderbilt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have Nashville schools. We just added our biggest one now in Alabama. Roll so Tide. We have a Roll Tide version. Mm-hmm. And we're going to keep adding schools. Auburn is the next one that's coming online. And we're excited because the American-made message really resonates, especially in SEC country and Midwest with Big Ten. So we've got a lot of exciting plans in place and what we're building on the collegiate side of our business. That's awesome. Um, and uh, there's there's another way folks just s- suggest this is uh, uh, a big-time college apparel country, and if your uh, school is not represented on the Authentically American website maybe i'd reach out to them and say <laughs> say hey i've got a good idea for you um but you know dean this has been awesome and i would just um love it before we get to your contact information and how people can get in touch i'd love it if you could just um share where you're going i mean what what is it what does the future look like for authentically american where do you think you'll be three years five years down the road Let me start with the very long term, John. So Mm -hmm. our vision is to build this iconic American brand and iconic to me has a very specific definition. So I've worked on brands like Crest, Tide, M&Ms, and all of them are very unique and different, but all of them in their own right are iconic. I mean, everybody knows those brands and recognizes those brands and all those brands also have a minimum billion dollars or more in revenue. And that's ultimately long-term where we want to go, John. We want to build this iconic billion-dollar brand. So we have a long, long way to go. But ultimately, that means growth each and every year. And I believe very conservatively, we will be doubling our business each and every year for the next five years. Because what we're found, if, if you're a new business owner and you're interacting with some of your business friends, they're like, John, great looking shirt with your company logo. Where'd you get that? Mm. And then we got a lot of referrals. And it's funny, Alabama. When we launched Alabama, we were flooded with requests from Auburn, from LSU with, what about us? Hey, a little love for. You know. I love it. So it's all about growth, John, but we want to deliver it in a sustainable way because back to quality, if we try to go too fast and we sacrifice quality, then we're losing the essence of who we are. So it's going to be high growth, but it's going to be sustained, controllable growth as well. Sounds great. Folks, there are a lot of ways to connect, um, whether you're a business, whether you are a nonprofit, uh, whether you just want to buy American made, uh, lots of ways to connect here. So, um, uh, Dean, this has been great and, uh, you, you, congratulations on the great work you, you are doing. And, uh, we want to get to the most important question. We want to sell some merchandise. So let's get good, get that going. Tell everyone how they can be in touch. Well, John, the number one place to go is to our website, authenticallyamerican.us. And that .us is an intentional choice given the equity of our brand. And then there is a tab. If you want to go ahead and just buy our own consumer brand, it's our classic collection. If you want to go ahead and buy your favorite college, there's a collegiate collection. Or, John, if you're a business owner, you lead a charity and you want to go ahead and outfit your team, that's the tab you've hit on. But No matter how you want to partner with us, that is the one-stop shop that people can visit is our website, authenticallyamerican.us. And, John, I will even include my contact information, bwegner at authenticallyamerican.us. You're welcome to include that in the show notes as well. And whether you want to partner with us or, John, there may be some entrepreneurs out there who are asking questions or would want to ask some questions and want some perspective. So, I've had so many people, John, reach out to me and then intentional investing in me. I always, when I have an opportunity, also to have that give, go-giver mindset. That's awesome. Now, folks, just a quick note. When you go to the website, it says outfit your team. That's your business team, too. Okay? The, yes. it, it, there are a lot of teams underneath that little tab. Okay. Check it out, and you'll find uh, a lot of different ways to um, to connect. Uh, there with authentically American and, and do business. So, uh, well, Dean, this has been great. And again, congratulations on your great work and thank you so much for coming on the show. 
Well, John, I appreciate it. I was honored to be guest and thankful to have a new friend. Absolutely. I look forward to it, to seeing you in person one of these days. Absolutely. Folks, just a uh, quick reminder as we wrap up here that uh, you can find this show, Nashville Business Radio, on all the major podcast apps. If you're in front of a computer, you can go to NashvilleBusinessRadioX.com and find our archive of shows. Uh, If you uh, are a podcast listener, uh, go to your favorite podcast app and punch in Nashville Business Radio and you'll find us. And here's my bold ask. My bold ask is to simply go on and subscribe and give us a five-star review. It's not about me. It's not about Business Radio X. It's about our great guest, guests like Dean who do great work. We want them to be found. You supporting the show in that way helps the show to be found and helps their stories to get heard. So if you could help them in that way, we would appreciate it. So for my guest, Dean Wagner, I'm John Ray. Join us next time here on Nashville Business Radio.